Hey, what's up? Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. Today, we're back out here for another episode of Leveling Up. This time, we're on level two, which is O'Brien Park. We're gonna head over to hole one so we can get started. All right, before we get into hole one, do have to address the unknown elephant in the room. If you're new here, uh, or if you've joined us within the past two or three months, you of course probably know that uh, I have been filming content with Nolan um, since December-ish, roughly. Uh, well, he does have some exciting life changes coming up, and I made the executive decision that I wanted to go ahead and move forward without him at this time. Aww. So that does mean that King of Heiki and Doubles Monthly matches are on hiatus, and at least for the foreseeable future. I do have content to fill those slots, so that will be getting done, and you guys will see that in the coming months, but just wanted to get that announcement out of the way. All right, now back to today's content, leveling up. Episode three, technically our level two here at O'Brien Park. Little change of plans, we're gonna start on the back nine. So we're gonna start on hole 10. But the line today, with the conditions we have, pretty much no wind to speak of, maybe like one to five miles an hour. We're gonna go for seven down as the line. I would guess I would probably put it around 970 to 980, somewhere in that range, of course, depending on who's playing out here. So that's the line to beat. If I can't beat that, we'll be coming back out here in April. And to give you guys a little bit more insight into my game on every single hole, I'll be going over the disc selection so that you guys can make fun of me in public forum manner down in the comment section below. Hole 10, 300 feet. We're going to go with our iBlend Emperor on a forehand. OB on the left in the water and past the little ditch here. OB on the right in the road beyond. So keep it in the middle. Ideal play. Come back. Okay. Might be long. That might be long and wet. There is a, the water kind of comes in at the end, so we'll have to see. All right, out of bounds on the first hole. Had a feeling when it got the skip, it did, but live and learn. I'll take it right here. While well, Nolan is gone, he's not forgotten. Mini gang continues on. Oh, that was a big. The back nine is definitely more scorable, so. Starting out this way is not the what not what you want to do. Alright, hopefully you didn't click off the video from that abysmal hole one. But hole eleven. 260 foot par three. There's dead straight. We're gonna go AVR three and just put it as close as possible. That went way straighter than I thought it would. If the putt on hole one was any tell for how today's gonna go, strap in. Okay, you can unbuckle them seat belts, we're okay. All right, if you haven't seen it by now from the first two holes, hopefully you're seeing it by the third. 270 foot par three, you've got two options. You can throw the forehand down the middle. You can also do a backhand that's a little technical, flip up, turnover. Or there is a hydro line, which is what I'm going to take with my PD. Should be great. A little short right. Maybe just outside the circle, but it's a putt, so we'll take it. That's about the same putt, give or take, as the last hole. Um, I didn't mention it, but if you want to know, I do putt with P2s. So I have the stamp wiped off, just preference thing. This might be a one and done. All right, would have loved to get the first hole too, but we are one down after three holes. Hole 13, 300 feet, um, walking path and beyond is OB. It does kind of circle behind the basket, but you don't want to go too far along. It's a pretty simple hole. I'm going to go with my Avery T-Bird here. Oh, don't find the OB. Okay, we didn't go OB, that was a terrible shot. Very fortunate and massive, we didn't go out of bounds. We're gonna approach with our zone. We've got two approaching discs, got the zone, and then I also have an AVR3. Sidearm approach is usually gonna throw this thing. Should fight out. And that's just fine, we're putting well today. Surprisingly, still one down after four. Took a par on the last one, that's all right. Hole 14. 235 foot par three. The middle gap is for suckers. You gotta get on the right hand side and try to skip ace. So we're gonna go instinct. 
One of my favorite discs in the bag right now. I went down the middle like a structure. That's what happens when you throw terribly. All right, we're gonna give this a little half run slash layup. ADR three. Oh, it's so terrible. All right, it was just a layup. I never said that I was gonna actually try to run the basket, guys. Ignore that. All right, the hat's backwards. Big things are coming. Hole 15, 315 feet, elevated basket. Plethora of gaps to choose from. My intended line is gonna be just right of these in this right hand gap right here. And I'm gonna throw Emperor. Knowing my luck, I'm probably gonna hit a tree. Oh, I didn't hit a tree. That actually might get ground play. Okay. Skipped way left. Little long. I luckily did not go as far as I thought it did. We're definitely inside the circle, but it is an elevated basket. A little bit of a crosswind. I absolutely needed that one. All right, got another one on the board. Two down. Need five more. Hole 16, 270 feet. You've got a couple different gaps. You've got the backhand hyzer um, that fades away from the OB, which is the walking path and beyond. Or you have the forehand. Really, the only danger with that is the big, uh, I believe, cedar tree up there that you can get stuck underneath. Don't ask me. Uh, I have not been there. Skip. I'm leaving myself short. That was an MD3. I forgot to say it on the tee, but that's a bit short. Need this to get three down. Trash. All right, still two down, still need five more. Hole 17 is 310 feet. Place of that basket right there. Um, I've seen people go forehand, I've seen people go backhand. I prefer the backhand skip shot. Same thing as most of the holes on this back nine. Walking path and beyond OB. We're gonna go rive, right side, see if we can get it to hyzer skip into the back. I like that a lot. Yeah, that should be like, I, I might hit my head if I uh, stand up too fast. All right, three down, need four more. Hole 18, 400 feet. First of many to come. As we get onto the front nine, you'll see what I'm talking about, but there's just a lot of cannon holes that are par threes. So 400 feet, really wanna get this one because I'd like to only have to get three on the front nine. We're gonna go pro boss. Probably gonna take the wide hyzer and see if I can get the late skip into the green. Oh no, that branch might have taken just enough off to prevent it from getting there. I'm probably gonna have a jump putt. That, if it didn't hit the branch, I'm like 99% sure I'm parked. Just outside the circle to get four down before going into the front nine. I wanna try to knock this one down. Nope, too far left. Onto the front nine. I already did the math on the walk over here. We've got seven of the nine holes available to birdie, starting with hole one. 330 foot, par three. Road behind it is OB, and parking lot left if you find your way over there somehow. I'm gonna go with an instinct, and I'm gonna try to get almost, there's a slight headwind, so I'm gonna try to get it to flip up just a little bit, and pretty much just go as straight as possible. Pretty straight. I mean, that's, I feel like that's as much as I can ask for right now. All right, got hole one. Only have three more birdies to go. Hole two, 380 feet, road and beyond OB. Outside that, it's pretty much just got to get past enough of the trees to have a look at a putt. We're going to be going a new disc to the bag. This is a Halo Faro X out. See what this thing can do. I actually really like that. As long as it gets a skip, I should be good. Eh, it's probably a jump putt. It's a bit short, but not unhappy with the result. I also did forget to mention that this one does play slightly uphill, so probably plays closer to 400 and you have to beat some trees at the end. Have a little step putt to try to claim another birdie, which would be huge. Oh, that could be good. Let's freaking go, dude. I needed that. I needed that. All right, two for two on the front nine. 
pull three. It's going to be 340 feet downhill, slight headwind. We're going to go with our Avery T-Bird again. Uh, I'm going to expect this thing to flip up just a little bit, but if I end up right or left of the basket, totally cool with that. That could be perfect. Yeah, up on that little, it's slightly behind that mound, so we have another inside the circle putt, which is awesome. Putting feels good today, and I think that's the most important thing. Uh, for those of you that are trying to challenge yourselves, work on your putting more than your anything else. I would love to add like 50 feet of distance, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're putting it in that range, that's like 25-ish feet. If you can't sink those every time, then you're just gonna lose strokes to everybody else. Even the guy that throws 250, 250, he'll three everything. Okay, three for three on the front nine. Don't worry, I'm not gonna let it get to me. This is a 440 foot hole, headwind. My goal is to par here. So we're gonna go rive off the tee. Uh, just play somewhere in between those trees or around them. Lay up with a zone, take my three, move on to hole five. OB of course, water, and then road and beyond. Yep, should be just fine for a layup from there. All right, step one of the plan executed. We are laid up. We're gonna go zone for the approach. Backhand, just put it close to the basket, tap out, move on to five. Boom. Two thirds of the way done. Just kidding, like the rest of the round, I've fluffed my upshot. Still need one more, and this one could be it. 635 foot par four to an elevated pin down next to a golf green that plays OB. Water to the left that also plays OB. And if you somehow go super duper long, there is a creek that's back behind the basket that also plays OB. Ideally, you just wanna lay out to the last row of trees, which is about 360 feet. Play your up shot, take your birdie, and move on. I'm gonna start on the tee with a pro boss. Try to put it back to that tree line. That might be too high. By the way, that is well short, but not out of birdie range yet. Okay, if I had to guess, probably about 320 feet out from the green, elevated basket right there. I'm gonna say something pretty controversial. I think elevated baskets are stupid. Mostly because here in Tulsa, like we don't have, there's no standard, okay? Elevated baskets should be like two feet higher than a normal basket, in my opinion, my humble opinion. But for whatever reason, our elevated baskets are like eight feet off the ground. And I'm, I'm tall, okay? I don't think I got over on that enough. That is really short. I might be laying that one up for a par. That was my instincts, did not throw it right. This is why I hate elevated baskets. All right, I got a par on the last one. Hole six is a 320 foot water carry. Um, you can play out safe to the right, or you can try to play for the green. That's what I'm gonna do. You gonna play in. for the green? I'm gonna play for the green. All right. We got a gallery. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're on MD3. Oh man, it looks good, that's pretty. Should be good. Oh, I always man. question it when it's in the air. Oh, wow. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're seven down and we're on hole seven. Coincidence? I think not. 565 foot par three. I know, par three. Insane. I don't know who came up with this, but fix it. We're going to go back to the Halo Pharaoh. And my goal is just to play it out as far to the right and as far out there as I can. Leave myself with about a 150 foot upshot or so uh, into the basket. Probably just a little bit too far to the right, but we'll get up and down from there. All right, probably got about 160 left into the green. One of the rare instances where I'll actually use this pink P2 to approach. 
uh, where I just want it to kind of softly land. I don't want it to have any slide or anything to it. So we're just going to pretty much play straight at it. And it would seem that I'd like to putt again. All right, seven down, two holes to go. These last two are actually attackable. First one, hole uh, eight, 390 foot OB, water on the left and water behind. Um, plays kind of parallel to uh, hole pin. We're gonna go with our champ wraith, a little flippy. Pretty much just wanna go dead straight at it, put it close enough for a putt. I got a little ground play and it does, it's a little tricky cause like there's a little bump and if you get over that usually you're closer than you think. So I could be up there for a putt, we'll see. And we did, Woo! If you've stuck around on the video this long, sincerely appreciate you. If you're new here, do consider liking and subscribing the video. Last hole on the course, hole nine. It's gonna be 330 feet slightly uphill, would love for nothing more than to give you guys a nine down on nine. So we're gonna go with the Emperor, put it on a wide hyzer, got a little bit of a right to left, so I'm gonna put it a little bit wider than you than you might anticipate, but hopefully that'll carry it back to the back. And it should carry down. I'm pretty sure I'm basket high, and we might be able to tap out for a nine through nine. All right, last putt attack mode giving you guys the nine down through nine if I had to guess it would probably be very very close to a thousand rated it really depends on who would be playing out here but I'm pretty happy with that with a bogey still shot nine down next month we're moving out to Riverside so if you enjoyed this series be sure to come back for that and uh, for now appreciate you watching see you in the next one peace